M0FXB, quite often I get a message about the SI4732 on the HF bands that people can't hear anything. So here's, here's one of these uh, donor antennas that they include and you'll see not much going on. If you go to the broadcast stations, go to band and then just go to broadcast. It's going to work great, but if you want, think CB or if you want, say, 40 meters that I like to test on, which is my favorite band, really, because it's it's always quite active. So let's take off this one that's labeled one, uh, 10 kilohertz to 180. And we've got this one here, which is a really interesting one that just came once with one of my devices. Uh, 1000 kilohertz to 500 kilohertz. So, you know, the frequency that you're on does matter and there's a little switch on this okay there's that one take that off and then i've got one here that's specifically labeled shortwave um so let's pop that one on and we flicked it to the low you can see it is picking something up if i go outside I'm just going to stand outside with it. And you turn the wheel until it sounds loudest. I can faintly hear someone. Okay, and there's a... If you look at the actual donut antenna, there's a very thin wire that's been circled many times inside the donut. Now let's add a 49 to 1 ballon, or unun and 66 foot length of wire that I've got stretched out in the garden. And you don't have to, it's only, mine's only about six foot off the ground and stretches along a fence. You can bend it and fold it and do, loop it back and listen to what happens. So I've just connected it with, you know, with an adapter, of course. Look at the difference. You know, I keep saying to people, you have to get a, lot, a long wire. Go and buy some garden wire from your, from the shop, from the, the DIY shop. Connect it to the thing. Stretch it out around your house. It will work. Stretch it along your ceiling. It will work. But you need that long wire. Bye for now.